Hey guys, this is Oscar doing another weekend project. Today we're going to go ahead and install front wheel bearings. This is a uh, 5 Series BMW. Um, hopefully, you guys can kind of get an idea how easy this job really is. Um, now, I will be installing um, both right and left wheel bearings. Um, these are the part. This is the part number. I don't know if you can see that. I got these from um, Rock Auto. I only paid uh, 39 bucks each. So this is the first time using this type of brand. But hopefully uh, I'll keep you guys updated how good they are. Again, uh, this is going to be a wheel bearing project. Alright, stay tuned. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first step is make sure you securely uh, lift your vehicle. Um, chalk your back tires and make sure you use jack stands come on guys safety first and um, I put my floor jack as a backup I don't really need it but it's there and again make sure your vehicle is securely lifted and uh, you know chalk uh, the back wheels okay so on this uh, video I'm gonna go ahead and do um, the driver's side and the reason why is because as I drive the vehicle when I hit about maybe 25 all the way to 40 miles an hour uh, while I'm driving I can hear like a huge humming sound and it's basically concentrated on this side so let's go ahead and change that out so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the tire and go from there okay all right guys so this next step we're gonna go ahead and remove the rim so let's go and do that here real quick Alright guys, now that we removed the rim, we're going to go ahead and uh, start removing the uh, components uh, one by one. I'm going to go ahead and go step by step so that we guys can kind of get an idea, um, you know, how to go about doing this. And again, this is the actual uh, wheel bearing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start now, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so in order for us to um, actually get into the uh, front wheel bearing, which is this one right here, we have to remove uh, the brake bracket and also uh, the brake disc. Uh, let me go ahead and give you a better picture of uh, how we're going to go ahead and do that, okay? Bear with me. Okay, so what I what I actually did for you guys, I went and go ahead and turned the wheel all the way to the right, so that way I can kind of have uh, better access to work underneath the vehicle. And again, I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, the front um, uh, brake caliper uh, and the bracket, and I'm going to go ahead and suspend it on top of uh, the the shock strut. And then after that. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, disc brake out and then we're going to go ahead and uh, be able to see and work um, with the wheel bearing hub, okay? So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so the next step, but we're going to go ahead and remove um, the brake caliper uh, and also um, the brake uh, bracket. So bef uh, let's go ahead and first remove the brake caliper. So the way we do that... We go back here you see this little um, this is a dust cover um, it's gonna have two this is gonna be the bottom one and 
don't know if you can see this one. This is gonna be the top one. Let's see here. Right, right here. So the way we remove those two dust covers, I'm gonna go ahead and use a uh, flathead screwdriver. And all I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop these off. And this is just to protect the, um, the actual bolt that we're gonna take out. So that's one. And I'm gonna remove the second one. See if you can see this, it's gonna be right, right here. Remove that here real quick. There we go. That has been removed. And now for, in order for us to take out the brake caliper, you will need a uh, seven millimeter uh, hex uh, socket. So let's go ahead and uh, start removing this bad boy here real quick. Let's see. Bear with me. Right, there we go. All right. I'll kind of show you what that bolt looks like in a minute here. it off real quick all right guys let me go ahead and try to do this with two hands I'll uh, give you guys a better picture bear with me all right guys Here's what the actual uh, bolt looks like. And again, there's the seven seven millimeter hex uh, entrance. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, take out the top one the same way we did at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, guys. So for the top uh, caliper uh, bolt, I'm gonna I'll be using a three inch extension uh, in order for me to take that one out. That's because I have here um, a couple of things in the way. The first thing, I have the brake sensor in the way, and then I have the brake line in the way, and then this one is the ABS line. So I couldn't get that uh, out as I wanted, so I'm going to use this 3 inch extension with the actual uh, 7 millimeter hex socket, okay? So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Break it loose. There we go. So look, let me go ahead and remove this. And then uh, we'll go to the next step, okay? Okay, guys. So I've taken out the top uh, bolt from the brake caliper. Uh, just one thing to note. Keep in mind that the top one is smaller than the big one at the bottom. Here, let me give an idea. This is from the top caliper. And this is from the bottom caliper, okay? So just make sure that when you install everything back, make sure that the uh, top one is a small one and then the bottom one is a long one. This one is the one that I took off here. All right, so just I just want to kind of give you that hint so that way when you try to put everything back, you don't put the wrong one because then you're going to be struggling to put it in place. Okay, just a quick uh, note of that. So next step, I'm going to, in order for me to take the... Um, brake caliper out. I'm going to go ahead and try to compress the brakes a little bit inward so that way I can uh, uh, loosely take it out. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that here real quick. I'm just going to use a simple flathead screwdriver and let's see if I get compress it there. Alright, there we go. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pry this off a little bit like so bear with me here before I do that after I compress this 
I gotta take out this um, this plate from uh, the actual uh, brake caliper. So let me go and show you how to take that out, okay? Okay, now that we've compressed a little bit the brakes inwards, um, in order for us to take out the brake caliper, there's this little metal uh, face plate that's kind of like holding the brake uh, caliper in place uh, to the actual um, brake bracket. So the way you take this out, it's pretty simple. You see this little thing right here? All you're going to do, you're just going to use a flathead screwdriver and you're just going to pry this outwards like so. Saw that? And then, I'm just going to, from the top, I'm going to go like this and it's going to come out. So just remember when you, you know, install everything back in order, just make sure that you kind of put it in, uh, in the same direction as you were. These will kind of go inside uh, the brake caliper also at the bottom and then you're just going to push this in and this uh, tip is going to go inside this little notch okay just uh, a little bit of uh, advice uh, when you put everything back all right so now we're going to go ahead and um, remove the actual caliper um, I'm going to do that here real quick it should come out freely Let's see here Give me one second. Okay, one thing that you want to also keep in mind, um, in order for us to take out the brake caliper, I was struggling a little bit, but I want to kind of show you something that I totally forgot. Um, you definitely want to go ahead and compress um, the uh, brakes uh, with the flathead screwdriver. And this is where I normally put the flathead screwdriver in here. The reason why is because when you you see this little the top here we have to compress it all the way where this is going to allow us to uh, kind of like move uh, backwards let me show you watch I'm compressing it right all the way now you see how there's that little gap in order for us to uh, remove this that little gap has to be there so that way it won't it won't stop the actual brake caliber from coming out so now that I've compressed the brakes I can actually remove the um, brake caliper. So let me go ahead and do that. At the same time, I'm going to use a um, S. Uh, um, it's kind of like a. Uh, I was like, it, it, it's designed to kind of hold the brake caliper in place. The way it works is that you just kind of hang it up in here, like so, and then you just kind of put it on top of the actual strut and it'll actually hold uh, the caliper in place and again um, it's not uh, hanging or any shape or form where it's gonna damage the actual um, uh, brake line right here okay so now that we have that out of the way the next step we're gonna go ahead and remove the actual um, uh, brake um, uh, back in here let's go ahead and do that real quick Okay, so the next step we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the brake bracket. Uh, it's basically held on by two 18 millimeter bolts, one on the top, one at the bottom. But what I like to do, I like to use some type of penetrating oil um, so that way uh, I can kind of like, if it's stuck or anything like that, it can kind of free itself. So I'm just going to spray that on a little bit, like so. There we go. I'm probably going to just uh, let it penetrate for a couple minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and attempt to uh, you know, remove them. You can remove them using a breaker bar or if you have any part tools you can use that as well, okay? So let's go, ahead and, uh, let, let's go ahead and remove those here real quick. Okay guys, so it's been a couple minutes that I let the penetrating oil uh, soak in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and now remove them. Again, these are 18 millimeter uh, bolts. So let's go and remove those. And again, you're more welcome to use a breaker bar, but in my case, I have the luxury of using power tools. So let me go to remove this here real quick. All right, that's one. That was two. All right, so let me just get this out of the way here. Put this here. Get these out. 
and normally what I like to do I just want to make sure they're the same length so that when I put them back together I kind of have an idea and yes they are the same length so we're good on that I'm just gonna put these aside like so all right the next step we're gonna go ahead remove the disc um, rotor here the way we remove it you see this little it's kind of like a hex um, let me go and find out the measurement I forgot what it was and you know we'll continue to the next step okay guys so I did find out the measurement this is a six millimeter hex socket um, bolt so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that here real quick what I like to do I like to put a little penetration oil on it let it soak in a couple minutes and then get it out All right, guys. So it's been a couple minutes that I let this uh, bad boy soak in. So now I'm gonna go and remove it. Uh, again, it's gonna be a six millimeter hex socket. Uh, let me use my impact tool, impact here, to try to get this out. Bear with me. There we go. All right. Let's go and remove this bad boy. Okay guys, now that we removed the 6mm um, uh, bolt there, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, take off the disc rotor. Now if it doesn't come off, what you could do, you could go ahead and uh, grab a hammer and just hit it on the sides very gently, on the top as well. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So for this, I'm actually going to use my Thor hammer. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this here. Yeah, just rotating it little by little. Take your time. And I'm going to do the top part. pretty stuck in there so just continue banging it and it should come off see just be patient in this part and it will come off so let me go and remove this here okay and this is the actual um, wheel hub I don't know if you can hear that. That's how that's how dry it is inside. All right. So the next step uh, we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna go ahead and uh, from the back. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the sway bar. Uh, link which is this one right here uh, so let me go ahead and remove that real quick and I'll show you exactly what you need okay guys before I take this sway bar link um, I, I want to make sure you guys kind of get a bit uh, better view of what I'm doing so I'm going to remove the backing plate it's basically held on by ten, four uh, 10 millimeter bolts here's one two three and a bottom one here four so let me gonna remove those here real quick This should just come out like so all right so that's gonna give us a kind of like a better view of what we need to do so let's go ahead and continue here 
Okay guys, so the next step we're gonna go ahead and remove this sway bar link, which is uh, this uh, link here. <clears throat> it's basically held in by a 16 millimeter um, nut. So let's go ahead and remove that here real quick. Okay, you see how it's turning? So if that happens, this is a T30. Um, all you do is get a T30 um, socket and put it in here, like so, inside. And then you can go ahead and uh, ratchet that nut out. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. Bear with me. Get one second. starting to spin so let me go ahead and do that with both hands so I can remove it and I'll come back shortly okay guys just want to show you how easy it is to remove this you see how it's uh, coming apart so let me go ahead and finish this up and then we'll go to the next step guys Okay, I was able to ratchet this out and again, this is a 16 millimeter uh, nut So now that we have that out, we're just gonna kind of push out that Soy bar link out of the way like so All right, so now that we have that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and remove the tie rod end now on this particular vehicle there's a uh, I want to say like three clips holding the nut. This is one. This is another one right there. And there's a third one in the back. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get you that better angle right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and pry open uh, these little um, clips out of the way and then we're going to go ahead and remove this nut so let me go ahead and uh, use two hands to remove this uh, clip and then we'll continue okay okay so I managed to unclip the little clips here using a flathead screwdriver as you can see here uh, one of them broke off but that's fine I still have the other one in the back so before I even um, remove this what I like to do, I like to use a little bit of penetrating oil, kind of like uh, to penetrate the actual nut. So that way, if it's stuck, it kind of come loose. So I'm going to let that uh, soak in there for a couple minutes, and then I'm going to remove it. So we'll come back in a couple minutes here. Okay, guys, so we've, I let a couple minutes go by so that penetrating oil could penetrate that uh, nut there. So now we're going to go remove it. It is a 21 millimeter um, nut that we're going to remove. So let's go ahead and see if we have any luck removing it here. Okay. Looks like it's moving. Bear with me here. Still moving. Oh, before I forget, 
if it didn't move like it's moving right now, um, what you could do, you could actually put a 21 millimeter uh, wrench. And this is a T40 uh, bit you could put in here, like so. And then you could put like a, a ratchet. And then you could just, um, you know, kind of like free it this way. In case uh, the nut and the actual tie rod and uh, bolt was moving together. But in this case it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and just take out the nut using, continue using my cordless impact uh, socket. Okay. But I just kind of want to give you a little tip in case um, your tie rod end spins with the nut. This is one way you can break it free. With, you put in the uh, wrench, 21 millimeter wrench, and a T40, and again, right there, like so. Okay, so let me go and remove that, and then I'll, we'll come back for the next step. Okay, guys, now that we removed the uh, tie rod end, the next step, we're gonna go ahead and remove the ABS sensor. Um, the ABS sensor, it's this. Um, the black clip there now that's gonna that's gonna be removed using a five millimeter hex socket so let me go ahead and uh, kind of show you how it goes I'm using a uh, three inch extension with a five millimeter hex socket so I'm gonna do see if I can show you I'm gonna go ahead and ratchet that uh, this right here let's see let me see if I give you guys a better uh, angle. Give me one second here. All right, guys, that's a better angle for you guys. So let me go to remove this uh, ABS sensor real quick. Bear with me. There we go. Okay, one second. gonna take that a small little bolt this is it and then I'm just gonna pull out the ABN sensor like so here I'm just gonna move it out of harm's way so that way we don't damage it all right let's go to the next step okay guys so the next step um, I'm going to go ahead and use a reference point. I'm going to do like a, a line where the strut and the uh, steering knuckle is going to go. This is just so that way it's, it's basically a reference point. So when I install it back in order, I want to make sure everything lines up correctly. Um, so I'm just going to kind of mark it like so. Just kind of give me an idea where kind of everything goes. Alright, so next step, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the um, brake caliper. I'm actually going to get it out of the strut. I'm just going to set it down. I'm going to use a, uh, I want to say like a small little container so the brake caliper could kind of like sit on nice and, you know, set so that way I don't mess with there when I start you know removing the the components that I'm about to remove right now so now that that's that's out of harm's way again I'm gonna continue I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove um, whatever type of uh, this is gonna be the ABS sensor just like a little bracket it's just holding the the wire on there um, let me go and remove this here so that way I don't damage it Okay, I'm gonna get it out of the way. I'm gonna remove. Um, I'm gonna remove this uh, nut, so that way um, I can remove this bracket, and at the same time, it's gonna go ahead and allow me to um, move the strut. Okay, so let me go to remove this real quick. I'll show you how this how that's done. 
Okay guys, so this is a uh, 18 millimeter uh, nut and on the other side right here it's an 18 millimeter um, bolt. So what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna put a 18 millimeter um, wrench there and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my power tool impact to remove that. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I'm going to remove this like so, the bracket that's holding the ABS and the um, brake line here. Okay guys, now that I remove this nut, I'm going to remove this bolt right here, like so. Let me show you here, better angle. This one, it's gonna slide out like so. See that? Okay. So the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. This is a 16 millimeter um, bolt. Let me go ahead and get that out of the way. And it's just a kind of like a bracket, but it's also um, holding the strut from the back. All right, guys. Now that we have that bracket that was here removed, the next step we're gonna go ahead and see this little I want to say gap. There's a special tool that uh, BMW makes. Uh, this is actually a strut splitter. Um, in case you're interested, um, the way it works is that you put this in here, in this little, um, I guess, gap, and then I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket, and I'm going to turn this, um, I want to say, this nut, and then once I turn it, the whole purpose is going to go ahead and turn sideways, and this is going to open up. Now this is, you know, one special tool for this, but a lot of people, you can use a, um, you can use a, a flathead screwdriver. You can use a flathead screwdriver and just hammer it away. Or you can use a chisel, uh, hammer it away here, but, you know, I like, I don't like to complicate things, so I'm just going to use this tool here. So let me kind of show you how it works, okay? And again, this is going to separate um, the uh, front shock, so that way we can uh, have access to the uh, wheel bearing bolts. See how there's uh, two bolts there? Uh, let me give you a better angle here. This is the top one. This is the uh, bottom one. The reason why I'm removing this is because over there on the other side, there's also two, one at the top, one at the bottom, but we can't, we cannot remove them because the strut is uh, on the way. So that's the reason why we're going to go ahead and uh, split this open a little bit so that way we can move it. That's the reason why I ended up marking here so that way when I put it back, I kind of get an idea as a reference point where I'm going to put it back, okay? So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay guys, so next step, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Use this uh, strut splitter. Just bear with me here. So the way it works, we're going to put this, slide this in here like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and ratchet this. Like so. And it's going to stick there. It's going to stay there. Okay. Now right now I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab a small uh, hammer. And hammer this down so let me go ahead and do that real quick let me get you guys a, a better angle all right guys now that I have that uh, stress splitter in the back I'm gonna go ahead and use my hammer take out my Thor hammer 
I'm just gonna hammer this uh, steering uh, this uh, steering knuckle down. Okay, you'll see right now. And I'm gonna do it gently. Okay, I'm not gonna do it Donkey Kong style. Okay, you see how it kind of freed up a little bit. That's the reason why that strut splitter is really cool, because it'll kind of like open it up for me. And then that way I can just, you know, push it down. So let me go ahead and continue doing that. And I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. So now that I know that I have that semi loose and I'm able to uh, move it up and down, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and uh, uh, take out these uh, three uh, 13 millimeter uh, nuts. The, these three nuts are holding the actual strut. So let me go remove them. So that way I could go ahead and for the bottom, wiggle the uh, strut out, and that way I can uh, uh, be able to uh, get more clearance to replace that with what will be in hub. All right, so let's go ahead and remove this here real quick. And again, these are 13 millimeter, 13 millimeter uh, nuts. And for this one, I'm actually, I'm actually going to use a 13mm um, wrench just because of the angle. I'm not able to uh, get a, a socket in there, so let me go to remove that here real quick. Alright. Alright guys, so now that I've removed all three 13mm uh, nuts, I'm going to go at the bottom, here, and I'm just going to push down. So let me go ahead and uh, put my camera on a tripod and kind of show you how you do that real quick. Okay guys, so the next step, uh, since I already took out the three bolts, uh, from the top of the strut. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push this strut down and try to move it outwards Okay, so let me see if I can kind of show you Hopefully the camera angle is good This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm pushing down Don't worry about it. It's just my light Hopefully uh, I just want to see if I can get you guys a, a good angle pushing down A little bit and what I'm going to do now that it's out of the strut uh, where it's supposed to be in place, I'm going to move it down and push it outwards. Okay, let me see if I give you a better angle there, guys. All right, guys, so let me give you a better angle that we can kind of do it at home. So you see how the strut, I already have it almost halfway out of the actual um, where the strut goes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, push the steering knuckle down with my foot. At the same time, I'm going to have a towel ready so that way I can kind of put it on top of the sh uh, strut. That way it doesn't scratch the vehicle, okay? So let me kind of do that in uh, live time here. Bear with me. So all I'm doing, I'm just going to put my foot where the steering, uh, where the tie rod end goes. I'm going to pull this down. Like so, if you can see that, see that, so let me try to do it on, on this side here real quick, get you a better angle. Here. Slowly. Now, that's basically the quickest way I can uh, tell you how to take that out. Again, be very careful. Um, try to be patient. Don't uh, rush it so that way you don't have any issues, okay? All right, let's go to the next step. Okay, guys, so now that we have the strut um, out, um, 
the next step we're going to go to remove the strut okay so let's go ahead and do that here real quick and again remember that uh, strut splitter it's still right there so still ha it still has that gap for us and so now we're just going to pull out the strut out okay let me show you how that's done Okay, and again, this is the easiest way I could probably show you to do this. And again, you see that strut splitter? Without that, I probably would have been jamming a um, a uh, flathead screwdriver or a um, anything that would allow me to kind of have that open in this case that's going to remain there until I either turn it and uh, with that said now we are going to have access let me see if I could get you a better lighting here bear with me okay maybe this way So now we're going to have access to uh, the back uh, bolts, bottom, top one, and on this side there's that uh, bolt and the bottom bolt. And again, this is going to allow us to remove the wheel hub. So let's go ahead and uh, get that. Uh, removed here bear with me okay guys so the next step uh, before I actually remove the um, the bolts here I'm gonna apply a little bit of uh, PV blaster penetrating oil let it soak in there for a couple of minutes um, just so that way they've been there for quite they've been in there for quite a while so that way, um, I get a, you know, whatever type of rust over time, it probably build up. It's gonna allow us to kind of like penetrate it. So let me go ahead and uh, let that soak in there here for a little bit. And then uh, we'll come back and uh, remove that uh, wheel hub assembly right here, okay? Okay guys, so the next step, we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, the bolts from the wheel bearing hub um, they are 18 millimeter uh, bolts there's four one on this side another one over here here at the bottom here on this side so I did go ahead and put some PV blaster penetration oil um, it's been maybe about 10 minutes so now I'm gonna go and remove them again they're 18 millimeter um, bolts just gonna take those out real quick here, let's start with this bad boy here. Here we go. 